It's cold in the Illinois Valley in December, but at Draper Valley Vineyards, cold is kind of a theme, something that leads to sustainability. As a wine grape has such intense flavor, such complex flavors. Since 2006, these Pinot Noir, Riesling, Chardonnay, and Cabernet Sauvignon vines have been producing not wine, but juice. Ooh, that's just tasty. I love it. Really I've had so many people come up and they get a taste of it and they just, their eyes just light up and they go, wow, this is no ordinary grape juice. Draper Valley's juice really is no ordinary juice. It's not made like other brands. Instead, it's cold processed. So we do not pasteurize. We do not heat treat our juice. We cold press, we cold filter, and it keeps our, our, our carbon footprint to a minimum. We're not having to heat that juice up several different times and then hot bottle it like most juice companies do. Al Curtis says this increases the product's sustainability because it decreases the carbon footprint. We cool the juice down to about 33 degrees before we bottle. That does take some energy, but it's a one-shot deal. Once it's cooled down, it's easy to maintain that temperature until we bottle within three days. Because the juice can't ferment, it's a fast and furious process to get it bottled, one which must also be sterile. Once the juice passes through these filters, it's 99.999% pure. Al sees the juice in these bottles as an elegant and romantic alternative for people who don't drink wine for religious or health reasons. In his research, Al found a recent study by the University of Barcelona, which claims grape juice, not wine, will sustain your health. And the resveratrol and other antioxidants are healthy for the heart. That's the good thing about wine. What's bad is the toxicity of the alcohol. The alcohol counteracts all that the good is in the wine from the antioxidants. So what we are able to do is produce all those antioxidants, all that resveratrol, everything that's good in the grape, and keep that bottled in the bottle without any of the alcohol. While keeping the alcohol out, Draper Valley makes sure not to add anything either, something else that sets them apart from the non-local competition. And then once they go through that whole process of pasteurization, uh, they need color, they need flavor, so they put color and artificial coloring and flavoring in, in some of the juices that are out there. We don't do that. This is right from the grape, and I guess in, in a way that's what makes it more expensive. We don't have, we're not able to thin it down and create volume. Apparently the price, starting at $6 a bottle, is just right for a lot of people. The internet sales are up about 35% uh, this year compared to last year. So we've seen a steady in increase in there and we have focused our efforts in that area. If you want to add Draper Valley Vineyards wine grape juice to your holiday table or to any table, it can be purchased at stores in Grants Pass and Medford and online. For more information, you can head to our website at kdrv.com. In the Illinois Valley, Aaron Maxson, Newswatch 12.